Welcome to Matzo Bricks. Many people have asked me to do more videos about my trains. And uh, of course I can do that. This time I'd like to talk about the rail bus. The rail bus is a train that uh, can be found on almost every German model train layout. Uh, because many people, if they are from the 50s, 60s or 70s, uh, have actually still ridden on that train. Myself as well, when I was a kid, uh, the train stop was just uh, next to my uh, house and uh, I rode with that train many times. So I had a look what's available on the market and I found a rail bus from Blue Bricks. Actually, I found two different. One, one is very bad and one is really good. Let's start with uh, the bad one and then I show you the good one, including the bidirectional lighting system that I have integrated there. So uh, the first one that I bought was that six wide rail bus here. And if you know how the rail bus looks in reality, you can see that this is not really looking like it. it it's more like, like, a, like a fun picture of it. Uh, mainly because the um, lights here and the width of the train just doesn't fit uh, with the proportion that it usually has. No? Uh, especially the length to width ratio is, is bad. The face doesn't look like it. And I bought that from Blue Bricks. The part quality was very bad. I had to glue a lot of things, but still it's, it's, it's really unstable. Uh, even after having uh, put a ton of glue into it and um, from the uh, technical points uh, this is really unstable i constructed a, a couple of things here already that it holds a little bit better but it's still well not good you need to be very careful when touching it you can't even install a standard battery box so i had to use a powered up hub uh, without the bottom. No? That fits barely in and um, yeah you use a standard train motor and uh, that's the vehicle. Unfortunately with that standard train motor it's, it's pretty pretty fast and it doesn't look so realistic. You can see it in a minute when I let it um, drive. Uh, it comes originally from rubrics with two units which uh, can then be attached together <laughs> and whoever invented that is using a lift arm to do that. So what you are supposed to do is you use the lift arm, put it below here and then you've got this uh, train together so that it can swivel a little bit through the curves. But the point is, if you do that, the train is not able to pass the switch anymore. No? So with that uh, lift arm there, it just can't go through switches. <laughs> so it's not even a good model for your showcase, but it's definitely nothing that you can really use on your layout. No? A very disappointing experience. Um, let's see how it how it runs. I have connected the powered up unit to a Matzo train controller for Bluetooth, which is uh, on the other side of this room here. So let's put it on the layout. I hope it's the correct direction here. We will see that in a minute. So as you can see it works and um, even an ugly child has of course its place on my layout, no problem. But after that, I already had decided to buy nothing else from Bluebrick anymore in my life, ever. 
but somehow um, after a while that other version of the rail bus found its way into my shopping basket. It's actually the 8 wide version of the rail bus and it looks a lot better. If you have a look at the face here, that really looks like the old rail bus that I drove in in a child. The proportions are really good and uh, it was really fun to build. No? The, quad, the, the, the part quality was a lot better and uh, it actually yeah, holds very firmly together. It's a good design and uh, you've got a lot of space inside for motor and automation components. So I put this Lego Power Functions motor inside. I believe it's an M motor, I'm not sure. And uh, this is a Matsu train controller for uh, power functions, slightly modified. I'm using even the two unused pins, drilled little holes in it, and uh, somehow uh, got the contacts here with those metal pins so that I can uh, supply the lights in the front and in the rear. Mm. I'll talk about that in a minute. And this is an old Lego 9 volt um, battery box. It's actually designed to work uh, with such a 9 volt block battery here. Um, and uh, I found even some rechargeable batteries here, so that's a good solution actually for your trains if you don't have a lot of space. So let's uh, start it up and see what happens. Yeah. The Matsu train controller blinks a little bit until he has uh, found a connection, which he has. Very good. And now, um, the most interesting part of this train is, of course, the lighting system. The guys who designed the train actually did it really good. He um, left some space for cables here in the top roof, so I didn't have to do a lot of modifications here. This is a little um, yeah, uh, wiring a card here. It's not a PCB really, but uh, something like it. Uh, to uh, supply the uh, uh, LEDs with power and um, what I figured out is a way to actually um, have a bidirectional lighting system. So if you tell the train to go forward, it will automatically, I'm doing this manually now, uh, have the three lights here. Um, as the original has, and if you go into reverse, the lights are being switched, and then you've got the two lights here, uh, the red lights, uh, in the main light compartments. So that is actually uh, yeah, not, not so easy to do, but uh, I set up a wiring diagram and put it on the website. So if you're really interested in, in buying that or understanding how it works, uh, go there, matzobricks.com, uh, build trains should be the menu item, and you find the rail bus, and uh, it's all there. So, enough talking, let's see how that works. Uh, probably one, one last thing, uh, the powertrain looks like that, so it's not a Lego train motor as you have seen, it's, an, it's a power functions M motor, I guess. And uh, this is the powertrain here. You can build that in a different way, that you have a higher um, suspension, um, and uh, then the train will be uh, faster. Uh, I like it in the slow version, actually, because the original wasn't really a rocket <laughs> as well. And uh, so let's see how that works. On the layout, let's start this train. As you know, I'm not starting the train. I just, or I'm, I'm, I'm not controlling the train directly. I just tell the train to go from that block to the other block. Switches lights and it goes. Yeah. As you can imagine, that really was a lot of work, but 
if you see the end result, then uh, I'm really happy that I have done all of that and went the long way because it's really beautiful to see, especially with the lights. So I'm really super happy to have found that 8 volt version of the rail bus. If you want to buy a rail bus from Rublix, don't buy the 6 volt, buy the 8 volt only, even if the rest of your layout is 6 volt. Um, it's really significantly better in any aspect. So, as always, I leave the trains run a little bit. And uh, thank you so much for watching. Uh, and uh, hope we see each other when I have the next video available. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel if you want to stay up to date with LEGO Train Automation. We've got also a Facebook profile. See you next time. Bye.